Greetings brethren, my name is Pastor Francis Ndivo, the pastor in charge here is Miwani. Welcome to this church, whereby everybody is somebody for the glory and honor of the Almighty God. Today I want to speak about giving, which is an essential part of who we are as followers of Christ. And we are going to base our teaching from the book of Matthew, chapter number 25, as from verse 14 through verse 17. And this is what the scriptures say. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each, each according to ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five more bags. So also the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the one who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. As I had said, I want to speak about three principles of giving and before we get into that, I would wish to say that giving makes us more like our God. Giving brings us closer to our God and the giving strengthens our faith. It is also an investment for our eternity. We can probably ask ourselves, then what is giving? Present something to someone voluntarily and without expecting compensation. But today, as we look into the three principles of giving, I would wish to begin with the first one. And that is, for us to be cheerful givers, we must understand and know that it all belongs to the master. Looking at verse 14, the Bible has told us, again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. And we can see, it is very clear that this investment never belongs to the uh, never belonged to the servants, but it belonged to the master, and he had issued the investment to these servants. Our whole sense of perspective is off base when it comes to the possessions and our wealth. We may think that we are the owner and that we give or not give. Our choice is out of what we uh, belongs to us. Any sense of such ownership is an illusion. We are not the owner. God is. Everything was created by God and returns to God. Jesus, as God's son, knew that he had only a few days left and then his earthly life would come to an end. As he shares this parable, he is the one going on a journey and we are his servants. He, God has entrusted his property to us. We are caretakers and stewards managers everything belongs to the master we have been given the opportunity to manage his property here on earth for the short period of time or lifetime that we may have we will manage in a way that re uh, reflects the way christ would manage the priorities and values that our master had would they be represented by us so if we are to give cheerfully then we must understand that it all belongs to the master. And number two principle that we have to get to understand so that we can be cheerful givers is that we receive equal to our abilities and not to one another. Looking as at verse 15, the Bible says, To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. Then what we see here is that they were given each according to their potentials. Nowhere do we find anything like fairness or equality in the parable. The fact is, different people receive different talents. One talent, which was equal to like 6,000 denarii, one denarii was uh, equivalent to one day's wage for a common laborer. So each talent would be worth 20 years of labor. This explains why each person receives a different capacity for the service. What should worry us isn't how much we have received, but what we really are doing with what which we have received. 
And number three principle, if we are to become cheerful givers, then we must understand that we are called to maximize what we have. And therefore, the expectation from our master is that we are sent out to go and maximize what we received. Looking at verse 16 and verse 17, the Bible says, The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more. So also the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the one who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. What we see here is that there is a sense of urgency for us who are servants and have been called to be followers of our Savior. The servants went at once and put their money at work. They did not even want that as the master returns back, finds that they have not maximized what they had received. And therefore, it could be any day that the master comes back. It could be any time that the master comes back. And therefore, what we need to ask ourselves, do we have an objective of growth? The one with five bags brought five more. The one with two bags as well, uh, through different servants, we are called so that we may understand. Even the second one brought two more uh, 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 in contrast to the one who had one bag. Remember, growth is expected. The first instructions God gave to Adam and Eve was that to go and fill the earth and multiply. Are you growing in your desire of giving for God's kingdom? We may not have the same financial capabilities and abilities or endowment, but growth is expected in everything we are doing for God. Shalom and may the Lord bless you as you serve in his vineyard. Hallelujah.